Okay, we are back today with another OSRS video. So I've made a little bit of progress on my stats since last time. But my goals for this video are to get a lot of the rest of the free-to-play quests done. Okay, so first quest we're going to do is Demon Slayer. We're going to knock this one out pretty quickly. I'm about to beat this demon's ass. All right, Gypsy Eris. Yo, I never realized this, but she kind of bad, though. She can see me holding a very impressive sword. Oh, Oh, this guy looks fucking sick, bro. Okay, so we finished talking to Bad Chick over there. Now we gotta go talk to Sir Pison, who's in the castle, I believe. I love how she just entrusts this demon that's supposed to bring horror to Varrocht. Just trust us to take him down. She's not gonna alert the king. She's not gonna alert any of his servants. Nope, just a fellow noob. All right, so now that we're uh, Sir Pison's bitch, we gotta go find the three keys, one of which he lost. All right, lit. We got one of the three keys. Yeah, man. In terms of the full screen, it's nice seeing it in full screen, especially with the blue sky box. It's not just like black, but I mean, it just feels so weird playing this game with this much screen space. Like, all right, let's fill this bad boy up with some water. Now pour that down there. Okay. Wow, that looks really weird zoomed out. So much brown. Yo, the OG zombie models, before they changed them, were actually pretty fucking scary. All right, we got the second key. Looks like a shit brown key. It's been in that sewage for a while. Dream will forever be one of my all-time favorite RuneScape soundtracks. It's just the definition of a vibe. Okay, so we have to get it from Treyborn. I forget which floor he's on. We'll find out in the middle of a second. All right, Treyborn, I got your fucking bones. Give me this key. Oh, uh, you need 25 sets of bones? Well, looky here. I got 25 bones right here for you, bro. Hey, there we go. Yo, look at that. Yo, he looks fucking sick. Yo, he just conjured up a fucking wardrobe out of no- Alright, boys, time for the climax of the story. We gotta go give the keys, get the silver light, and then shove it right up that demon's ass. Yes. Yes! Give me that! Oh! Yo, uh, the first time I saw a kid with a silver light, I was st I still remember to this day, I was standing in Sears Bank, and I saw a kid holding this, and I ran up to my brother. I'm like, how the fuck do I get this sword? I feel so badass right now. Look at this. All right, boys. The time has come. We are doing our first monster slaying quest. First of many. Time to clap some cheeks. Let's go. Hey, buddy, I hope that big ass of yours is ready to get clapped. Attack Delworth, what is this? Why won't it let me attack him? No problem though, I'm clapping this dude's cheeks. Easy, holy crap. Yo, you suck. Oh crap, the words, that's right. Fuck. Hey, let's go. Deldrith is sucked into the vortex. Eat my ass. Quest complete, boys. Ain't no thing. That took like a total of probably like 10 minutes to do. On to the next one. Man, now that I uh, am on a fresh account, it really makes me realize how valuable teleporting in this game is. I need to get my magic up ASAP, bro. I just don't have the funds right now. I I'm not used to, I don't really know how to make money as a low level anymore. All right, so we're helping this buddy out. He's obviously stressed. Now that we just walked here from Brock, it's time to walk on back. Okay, so we got our info. Just double check the quest updated, yep. Uh, Southern Peninsula of Arzgania. No idea where the fuck that is, but, uh, I know he's right outside of Port Serum, so let's go over there. So, the last time I tried to make a red berry pie while doing this quest, I burnt it! So, right, let's get this pie and not eat it. We can't eat it, no matter how good it looks. Why does this song have to slap so fucking hard, man? God damn. Okay, we are finally here. Only took about five straight minutes of walking. Would you like a red berry pie? Mmm. All right, time to walk back to Falador. Dude, our calves are gonna be fucking swole after this. Yo, bitch. I need a painting or a, some sort of design of this sword. So I'm pretty sure this takes us to the climax of the quest. I gotta go give this picture back to Orc Boy. And then I got to risk my life and hope I don't get fucking demolished by these ice warriors. True story, when OSRS initially released, me and my friend did this quest pretty early on, like a week into the game coming out. And no lie, my friend died from the ice warriors during this quest, and he never logged back on after that. 
fucking rip, dude. I always get nervous doing this part because uh, it's just so scary running into that room of ice warriors, man. I'm gonna get two just so I can have my own personal blue right sword, even though I'm never going to use it because it's actually a fucking useless sword. At least I think so. I just want one for the placeholder in my bank. I've been walking the last like 30 minutes just to save up my run energy. I should have put armor on. High key should have put armor on. Totally forgot actually now that I'm thinking about it. What level are they? Oh, 57. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's not gonna leave me alone. He's not gonna leave me alone. All right, I guess we gotta fucking reset because this ice warrior is not leaving my ass. Yeah, walk, walk your ass away, bitch. I'm not moving until you leave. Go. Oh, I was go I was about to be so pissed if my character decided to go that way. Holy shit. Let's get our second ore, and then we are getting our big booties out of here. Let's go, and we got mining level 11, hey! Okay, Thurgo, I got your shit. Now give me my swords. Time to walk back to Falador <laughs> yet again. Dude, not gonna lie, this sword's pretty badass. Hey, ninth sword quest complete. We get that huge, almost 13k smithing XP. I'm pretty sure that shoots us to like, yeah, 29 smithing. Let's fucking go. Yo, bro, it took me like five minutes to find your ass. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I've never really been a fan of this quest. I just think it's kind of dumb and boring. But uh, got to do it anyways. So let's just knock this bitch out as fast as possible. Well, uh, I see some raw trout on the ground here. I might just pick some up and cook it for myself. Burnt the first one. Burnt the second one. Burnt the third one. Burnt the fifth. <laughs> oh my god. So we only successfully cooked three of them, but I call that a success. Ooh, that serious music started. All right, shit's getting serious now. Let's do this. All right, we got our d cheeky disguise on. No one will know it's us. And we are in, oh, oh, push wall, push wall. Yeah, see a bitch. Black Knights ain't shit. They haven't even done damage to me yet. Get fucked. All right, here we are. Time to drop the cabbage. Let's do it. Yeah, don't eat the cabbage, you dumbass. All right, here we go. Yeet. Full yeeted that thing. My potion. Yeah, as simple as that, boys. You know, I threw the cabbage in the pot. I did the thing. And we get, oh, he gives us 2,500 coins. Nice. All right, talk to our good old friend, Morgan. I love how he's like, help, there's a vampire in this house. Will you kill it? And you're just like, fuck yeah. Okay, so even though I know I've been bitching about having to walk everywhere, something I do appreciate about it is it for like, for someone who's actually a completely new player, never played this game before, it forces them to go to all of the towns. It forces them to actually like start learning the map. A lot of these RuneScape quests make you go to several different places on the map that are pretty scattered, especially once you get to members quests. So you, you actually like learn the map a lot. But saying that, we need to unlock teleporting ASAP. <laughs> Dr. Harlow, what's good my dude? A glass of your finest ale, please. Two coins, wow, that's a fucking snag. That's so funny that he starts to sober up when he drinks the beer. Oh my God, I never noticed that. There's a noose in the backyard? Bro. Yo, is it just me or are all the female models in this game just Bad as fuck, bro. Holy shit. All right, boys, it is now time to go vampire slain. We are about to one shot this bitch. I now challenge you to. <laughs> Yo, this bro's getting his ass beat. Vampire Slayer is done. We got three more quest points 5k attack XP. Attack is now level 33. Okay, so now let's do the earnest quest. I'm pretty sure we can just do that real quick right now. Yeah, I'm looking for a guy called Ernest. You, you've seen him? Yo, this song Loki slaps, not gonna lie. I've never even heard, I don't, even, I don't think I've heard this before. <laughs> Boys, we got the oil can. One out of three items, let's go. I'm sad I have to leave this room. This song is a bop. We need that fish food and I'm pretty sure we have to go get poison. And then we have to poison the fish in the fountain. Kill their asses. Voila, we are in. Oh, skeleton, get out of here. I miss the old skeletons, bro. The one that, why is this dude got clothes on it? All right, doc, turn this man back into a man. Ernest, my dude, what's good? How is it like being a chicken? Oh, and there we go, four quest points. And we are at 32, boys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so honestly, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I know I said I was going to do Witch's House in this episode, 
But I decided I want to grind out some more of my skills. I want to level up my range a little bit more so I can safe spot the uh, experiment in Witch's House. I'm going to grind range on Chaos Druid so I can get a little bit of money to buy some more gear. And then next episode is going to be mainly circled around me doing Dragon Slayer. I really have to do Dragon Slayer. It's been a long time since I've done it. Now, like I said at the end of the last video, if you guys have any suggestions to certain quests I should be doing early on that will help me out, or any good money-making methods early on that will help me out, let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. As always, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Happy scaping. Peace out. Release the brainstorm to make your motherfucking brain warm. A strange form, something kind of lyrical. Biggie the bastard, so that's kind of spiritual. Well, in God we trust, guns are busted.